Hello, this morning we are looking at this Eufy doorbell. I just bought one of these to see what it was like. This is the wired version of the 1080p grade resolution and it's got the doorbell and it's got the, uh, this is the outdoor portion and then this is an indoor portion that rings the doorbell when someone pushes the button. So uh, this is a doorbell that bypasses your the doorbell that you have installed if you have a chime with that, uh, it bypasses that chime, and this is the chime that works with uh, this particular one. So let's take a look at what we got in the box. And uh, this one came from um, Amazon, and uh, it's got the uh, it's got it came with a sticker, an Amazon sticker on it, as well as the uh, one of the barcodes. But I've taken there's a plastic wrap over the top of this, and I've taken that off already. But let's take a look and see what we've got here, and. Um, I'm new to these doorbells, but I bought this one to see how it works. The Eufy is one of the rare doorbells that does not have a monthly subscription. I don't know about you, but it seems kind of crazy to pay a monthly subscription for a doorbell. But <laughs> that's the world we're living in today. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look. We got a nice little presentation here with the box that folds open. and. Um, this looks like some oh, installation and quick start guide. We have a, this, this little thing here is a, um, a model that you can, a little sticker that tells you where to drill your holes if you have the proper holes drilled already or not. And, uh, and this is kind of interesting. You get a, you get a little security uh, sticker. I guess this is for your window. Oh yeah, let's see here. To let visitors know your property is moderate. Okay, all right. I guess that goes on your window or somewhere. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, this is kind of interesting. I wonder, um, I was just wondering what was on the back of this. And it looks like there's two little prongs. I'll have to figure out where that goes. And this is the unit itself, the doorbell. Um, really nice, attractive looking product, and it's not real, it's about maybe an inch thick or so. And um, that's the underneath. So it's supposed to be weather resistant. And I see where a little box of accessories in here. Let's see. That's real interesting. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think these are the um, various steps that you take to connect, either connect your existing, you sort of have to go in and bypass your existing doorbell, you know, the chime part of the doorbell that's, that's inside your house. You sort of have to bypass that somehow. And um, in order for this wired version to work, there is a, a wireless version of this, but this is the wired version that we're unboxing here. So that's why we're getting these little cords. And these these basically just let you bypass the uh, um, the existing chime. And this looks like the, the little anchors and the bolts that go into the, uh, uh, the doorbell outside for you to install because these go into uh, brick or some surface out there where a lot of people have a brick outdoors. A lot of people have a uh, wooden, maybe uh, paneling, uh, wood panels outside or uh, whatever's on your porch that goes into the wall, those wall anchors. And then these are, these sort of look like uh, uh, wire nuts and some stuff that you might need for step eight here. Okay. Oh, okay, this, this undoubtedly is uh, um, this connector that I was talking about. <clears throat> this must go to um, this thing somehow and um, let you plug this unit into the wall. And that would be your chime, you know, the chime that um, sounds when someone is at the door. So uh, there's a sync button that lets you uh, sync it up, apparently. I'll get into all this when I... Get, get involved in putting them in. And we have something for step seven. This is probably, this looks to me like a wall mount. 
I mean, a, uh, oh yeah. Okay, so this is something where um, if, you know, you can use these parts if you need to, you see there, they come at an angle. There's an angle to this part right here. And um, if you install this on your front door and you don't feel like the angle is proper to give you a line of sight to your door, then you want to, uh, you might want to um, have that, for example, you might have this on the wall and you might want to shoot your video this way a little bit or that way a little bit instead of just straight on. So you would put um, this either at this front angle here or turn it around and 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 um, put it here. So you could take, and then this unit would go on here. So you could pretty much uh, cause this unit to aim in one direction or the other when you put it on your front door. And uh, like you might have steps going up, your doorbell might be here, but you might have steps going up this direction or that direction. And so um, that is what that little part is for. It's sort of a something you either need it or you don't. And um, that's in what they call step seven here, which I'm assuming is in our, in our, it's gonna be our quick start guide. <laughs> Just a quick start guide. Let's see, it's about 18 pages. They tell you about what's in the box and um, and then give you a little bit of a, um, a guide. Now, this is one of those where you do have to um, download the UFI security app on your phone and register and log in and everything. But, you know, this, what's great about this UFI is apparently it doesn't uh, require any kind of a um any kind of subscription which is good and um, i was not looking for something that um that requires any kind of subscription to it because i do not want to start paying a monthly fee for a doorbell i mean that's the last thing i want to do and um so i'm going to try this out and see um what i think after a while i'll try to get it installed and um see what the deal is but that's the unboxing it looks real simple i'm looking forward to getting started with it and we'll see how it goes